Your ships are under attack. He won't like that! Target destroyed. Yes. Your colony is under attack. Your ships are under attack. Target destroyed.
no funds for ship maintenance. Your colony is under attack. I like that. What a shot! Your ships are under attack. Awaiting your orders. Your colony is now ready for trading with Earth. Fine job, Major. Your success in outer space helped us considerably to calm tempers at home. We can't wait for your complete report. We have some issues to discuss about how to make further progress as well. A foothold has been successfully established, but we still have a few difficulties. First, the hyperdrive jump problem is still not resolved, so your units cannot make contact with the solar system. On the other hand, before the wormholes were shut tight, pirates swarmed into the newly discovered system and are now endangering our plans. These savages are fairly strong, since they armed themselves using leftovers from the Earth-Mars war some of which used the best technology available. Their leader, Christian Martins, has already contacted us, and I can say that he's quite an annoying person. Don't underestimate him and his followers. Be prepared for some serious attacks. Building some serious defenses could help a lot. Nice to see you again, Major. Laura's team continues its work to find a solution to the hyperjump problem. We can only hope that the pirates are not as strong as they were reported to be. There is another little problem, though. Your former adversary, Jack Garner, while making a hyperjump, suffered a serious accident. 
He's lost somewhere out there. His supplies are running out, so find him now before he dies. I can't believe my eyes. Nelia Cortiliari, the paragon of mankind. Jack Garner. At last I found you. I heard about your misery, and I want to save you. Thanks. I don't know how long I could have survived without you. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have any objections to me? I never thought it was possible to serve on the same side as Jack Garner. It wasn't easy to convince myself that this was the right thing to do. I wanted to die honorably rather than be captured. I even thought of suicide when I was being interrogated. I know you were interrogated. You were accused of slaying the defenders of Neptune, Colonel Kravis's forces, as well as my units. It was hard to carry out those procedures after a lifetime's loyalty to the army. I don't believe I did anything wrong. I was following the orders of my superior, Colonel Kodiak, and those of high command, namely to disable all base defenses and the base itself. In the Army, one never questions a command. You, as an officer, should know this. I see. And Colonel Kodiak, has he confirmed what you said? Yes, of course. He's also a man of his word. He never denied that he gave me orders to take out that station. I see. Let's talk about Artemov, then. Your spy was unwilling to surrender. He was an exemplary soldier, like you, Major. And even after being surrounded, he carried on coding the data he captured. Minutes later, he began shooting at my squad. Our lives were in danger, so I gave the order to fire. I've felt bad about it since, but at that moment, I had no other option. So, your problem is similar, but you accuse yourself instead of your superiors accusing me. Let's skip it, Major. You're the best fighter pilot I've ever seen, and I'm glad to have you on board. No doubt there are orders to be carried out. Now, check in with your squad and get ready to go. Understood. Garner, over and out. Mr. Stone, is Major Garner the reinforcement you told me about earlier? That's right, Major. Any problems with him? He was meant to be your second in command. There's no questioning his skills or loyalty, but I have serious doubts about his attitude. He talked about dying honorably and suicide. Couldn't he try to kill himself in combat? And what about his men? If his ego is so severely damaged, call him back right now. It's been hard for him lately, no question about that. But he's a man of duty and loyalty. He knows what he owes to his people and his superiors. He won't do anything stupid, and he will never let you down, Major. You can be 100% sure about that. Just keep him busy out there. Give him tasks, tasks, and more tasks to help him regain his confidence. Okay. I'll handle it, Mr. Stone. Thanks for your time. Any time, Major.
Your ships are under attack. Your ships are under attack. Your colony is under attack. Enemy destroyed! Waiting for your orders. 